Hey, how's it going? Hope that you're doing good today. It's a good day. God is good. It's a beautiful day here in Eugene, Oregon. It's sunny out. Uh, feels nice. Feels kind of like spring. Um, but yeah, I was out there doing some work, but I wanted to come in and just share a little testimony. I felt like the Lord's been uh, wanting me to share share the, share a testimony. Uh, but first, I want to pray before before I do that. And, uh, yeah, if you'd pray with me, that would be great. Uh, I'll speak for the both of us. Uh, Heavenly Father, me and my friend just come here together like this, Lord, just seeking you, Lord, just wanting to wanting to talk to you, wanting to learn from you, wanting you to speak to us, and uh, we just want to give you our attention right now, and just, uh, we just want to let you know how much we love you, Lord, how much, uh, how grateful we, we are for this life, you know, just for for you going to the cross for our sins and and uh, and setting us free from the chains of addiction and sin and and now we're free to do what you want us to do. We just have to follow you now and it's uh, it's good because there's joy in your presence and there's and there's pleasures forevermore. Our our food comes from you know our our nourishment comes from doing the will of the Father. That's how we that's how that's how we have peace in our life and that's how we enjoy our life is just by following you. That's the way you designed it, and we found it, and it's good, Lord. And we need help always uh, to follow you, because it's not always easy, Lord. You call us uh, to do things that we're not necessarily comfortable with. And uh, we're just learning to 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 trust in you in those things. And, and uh, you just keep taking us farther, and uh, it's amazing, God. Um, you're calling us out of the boat. Walk on the water. You know, we want to we want to do whatever it is that you ask us to do. Um, but yeah, Lord, just I'm gonna share this testimony. I just pray that that uh, that you would speak to us, God. Read a couple couple scriptures here that I pulled out. So thank you, Lord, and and thank you for joining me. Yeah, I've been wanting to share this one. I uh, <clears throat> I've got you know I, I always share like daily testimonies how the Lord's helping me with relationships and and you know helping me find good deals at the store or a parking spot or just whatever He's doing that day. But then we have our big testimonies like when we first came to the Lord, like what the, what the events were uh, leading up to us coming to Christ, you know. And and uh, I don't want to share the drug one. I was uh, I mean for if you don't know I was a drug addict, alcoholic, you know, substance abuse um my whole life and uh and every other you know sexual sin everything else that, that goes along with that kind of lifestyle uh, it's just a self-life you know um selfish life it's uh it's a life of the flesh you know without the lord and and so so yeah i was into methamphetamines and alcohol for for my whole you know adult life but, but like i said i don't want to get too much into that but when this uh I came to the Lord uh, probably like probably like eight or nine years ago, I think it is now, and uh, I seen His goodness for a little bit, and then I then I fell back into sin, and I couldn't get back, and finally I got back about two and a half years ago, and uh, and it was it was amazing um, the uh, the transformation that took place and just how fast it all happened. Um, yeah, I was given the ultimatum where I was living. These people were letting me live at their house if I would, you know, they were trying to help me get off the drugs. That's the only way, reason I wasn't out on the streets is, is they were going to help me, help me get clean. But I was living there and I was still drinking and I was still doing drugs. Um, mostly just drinking because I had to really kind of watch uh, what I was doing there at the end. Uh, if I wanted a place to stay. But finally they, they had enough and they were going to like, they said, you can go to treatment or inpatient treatment, you know, where you go in there and live for like months, you know. And I was just like, no way, I'm not doing that. I've done, you know, I've done, uh, you know, many, many treatments over, you know, over 10 treatments in my life, but uh, nothing ever worked. I already knew treatment doesn't work. Um, the only treatment that works is God, you know. What good does it do to gain the whole world and lose your soul anyway, right? But, um, but yeah, so I was either going to have to go do that or go uh, be be homeless. They said, you'd have to get out. You know, you go to treatment or you get out of here. Um, so so that was my chance to, um, that's when I came to the Lord. I'm like, Lord, I don't like any, either one of these options at all. Lord, just help me. And I came to him and, and uh, 
Yeah, it was, it was, uh, yeah, I came to him and we, we quit that day or the next day. And, um, or maybe it might have been one of those. I'm going to start tomorrow. I don't remember exactly what it was, but, but yeah, we got going and, and, uh, he delivered me from the drugs and alcohol right off the bat. I think I quit smoking cigarettes. Um, the next day, then it was like coffee, like a couple of days after that. And then I, but I was super, uh, like I said, I was mainly just drinking there at the end. So I was super, I would drink and smoke weed. I would just lay around and God pass out and throw up and listen to music and smoke weed. All I did was lay around the house and um, at my girlfriend's house and walk back and forth. Uh, there was a, I lived like a half a mile from my girlfriend. And there was a store in between where I get my alcohol, and then the uh, my friend who, who who had like a the, the, there was a bunch of people lived there, and then it was like a dope house. So I had everything in between the two houses. I just walk back and forth, and uh, yeah, just a just a party lifestyle. But but um, anyway, I was so out of shape. I remember. Uh, I remember, yeah, I would be sweat. I would get up first thing in the morning when the store opened. I would go steal money from my girlfriend's uh, purse. I would walk over to her house, steal money at, from her purse at like 6.30 in the morning, make it back to the store. I would be waiting in front of the store before it even opened. I would watch the person come in and open the store and so I could go in there and buy my alcohol. And I would go back. This was like the only exercise I got was like walking so so anyway and i would just drink this malt liquor all day long i was really fat and um and uh so anyways i was like 380 pounds when uh when i came yeah when 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 this happened when when the lord when i decided i was gonna come when the lord rescued me i should say I don't even know how to word it. I know he did every every bit of it. I didn't do anything. I was just at a at the end. But anyway, so I didn't like what I looked like. I was like, so so I got on this diet and and I lost. I ended up losing a uh, hundred and fifty pounds in one year. I went from uh, three eighty um, to two thirty. In one year, and uh, it was all because of the Lord. It was all the this, the the self control that the Holy Spirit gives. You know, every time I wanted, it was just like when you quit, when you when you quit using alcohol, you can't go to alcohol every time you get upset or whenever you want to feel better. It's the same way with food. If you do that with food, you can do the same thing. Like, no, I'm not going to go eat just because I want to feel better. And, and you can do that about anything, cigarettes or food or. Or, or drugs or alcohol or sex, you know, you can say, no, that's not an option, you know, and only the, only with the Holy Spirit can we, can we defeat those, can we conquer those things, it's only Him that can do that, but, um, so, yeah, I was feeling good, because I was losing weight and stuff, and, and, um, and my teeth, my teeth were messed up, my teeth were really messed up as a, as a young, person i was really tall and skinny i was really self-conscious of my height and then i had my teeth i had a real big gap in my teeth and these ones on the side were really small and then after so i already didn't like my teeth when i was younger and then even growing up they got worse because i was into drugs and they were all chipped up and like and yellow and and uh, and it was embarrassing i was one of those ones that would like cover my mouth when i laughed because i was really self-conscious of my mouth and then, like, after I came to Jesus, um, or Jesus came to me, I, I always like to put it fully on him because I really don't think that I did anything. But anyways, um, one time I had a dentist appointment, and, and uh, I had a couple chips over here, and, and she said, you know, I have the Oregon Health Plan when, when uh, you know, they cover, like, major issues like if you have tooth pain like they'll pull your tooth or they'll or they'll give you a filling but they're not into doing uh things for looks for cosmetic reasons you know they don't they don't pay for the dentist to do that so i just so happened the lord put me in front of this dentist that was willing to go above and beyond you know what, what she needed to do i knew it was the lord and and um, i went in there one day and she was working on that one uh, just a little chip. I was like, oh, cool. She's going to fix the fix the side, you know, that little tooth that's chipped. 
and uh and uh you know i took pictures even before i wish i could show the pictures i'm gonna do a written on it uh later on and i'll be able to show the pictures and the thing but but uh so i took pictures of my teeth and i thought she was just gonna fix the one and i was laying there in the chair and and she, and she i felt them start working on the front ones and and the and the dentist went into the other room and and uh the assistant was like i go i go what is she doing after she left and she go oh she's doing your whole she's she's doing your whole front and she's like kind of whispering like Shh, like she's not supposed to be doing this this is like thousands of dollars worth of worth of work that you're getting right here and i was like oh cool you know i just still didn't know what to what exactly this all meant and then when she got done she put the mirror like in front of my face and i i opened it and i had like a whole new um whole new teeth it was amazing you know and now i can smile and uh it's just amazing. I still, I know they're not perfect teeth, but whenever I get a chance to, to smile, I am smiling. It's, it's amazing what the Lord can do. Um, not just, not just, you know, it all starts with the heart. He starts with the heart and starts changing the heart, but he can change uh, physical appearance as well. He can do anything uh, that he wants to do. And, and uh, it's just amazing. But I just wanted to share that testimony about the teeth. And every time I see that dentist, I don't think she's really a believer either. I don't know, but because I'm, I'm always telling her, like, you don't even know how much glory you gave God uh, with this uh, with, with this testimony that I've been speaking to everybody about how, how, how he can do people's teeth. There's a lot of people with messed up teeth with it would love for the Lord to come in and change their teeth or anything. Oh, before I forget, I had this little bump, like a little skin thing on my eye that really bothered me. And, uh, you know, I never thought in a million years that my, that my, um, that my teeth would get fixed. You know, I, that's not something I ever thought would ever be possible. I wasn't going to pay for that to get done. It just, and it just happened. It just happens just so naturally. I was just seeking the Lord and this, it's just amazing. But yeah, and then I had a little skin thing on my eye that I was self-conscious of. I went to the doctor one day. They took that off. My whole, I look at videos from like a year ago, you know, and everything, nothing's changed. But I look completely like a whole different person. It's it's, it's just amazing what he can do um, with the, with our looks. Dang, this is getting long, and I wanted to read some, some scripture. Um uh, Real quick, I never want to do one of these without reading some scripture, but I found this prayer in Jeremiah. That's what Jeremiah prayed. Oh, sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. You show unfailing love to thousands, but you also bring the consequences of one generation's sin upon the next. You are the great and powerful God, the Lord of heaven's armies. You have all wisdom and do great and mighty miracles. You see the conduct of all people and you give them what they deserve. You perform miracles, signs, and wonders in the land of Egypt. Still things remembered to this day. And you have continued to do great miracles in Israel and all around the world. You have made your name famous to this day. You brought Israel out of Egypt with mighty signs and wonders, with a strong hand and powerful arm. And with overwhelming terror, you gave the people of Israel this land that you had promised their ancestors long before. A land flowing with milk and honey. Jeremiah 32, 17 uh, through 22, and then this is what the Lord came back and said, Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? That's Jeremiah 32, 26 and 27. But but yeah, it's, it's just amazing just to go from, yeah, to be confident in, in, in who you are. I have this beautiful girlfriend now that's like way way out of my league every time i say that i don't say that you know i don't care she is she's beautiful and uh it's all because of the lord and um it's just amazing what what he can do we see that people get that you know i was talking to a guy at church on sunday you know and he that's what he said he said yeah when i came to the lord you could just see it changed me from the outer and i'm like yeah i know that's what reminded me to to give this testimony again about my teeth and what he can do to physical appearance. He can fix anything. There's nothing money can't buy or anything that we can't do as far as our looks. It's a heart that's that, that's concerning, but, but man, it's amazing when you can look at yourself in the mirror and like what you see. 
I was I was thinking about when Moses came down. You know, when Moses came down my Mount Sinai carrying the two stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant, he was he wasn't aware that his face had become radiant because he had spoken to the Lord. Exodus 34, 29, you know, when you can just see the Lord in people, I think that happens to us, like on a, like on a lesser scale, you know what I mean? Like, like people glow that have the Lord there, you know, it doesn't, it's just amazing. We now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God and not from ourselves, Second like Corinthians 4, 7. I just share that one because, yeah, it's shining in our hearts, but it's shining its shining out for other people to see. You can see people that, are, that, that come in the name of the Lord. Um, it's a beautiful thing, but this is getting long. So I just wanted to share the testimony. The Lord can do anything, physical thing. The heart transplants, the biggest one, but but he he wants us to feel good about ourselves. He wants, he wants, he, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for what you do. Is there nothing too hard for you? There's nothing too hard for you, Lord. Uh, just bless my friend right here in Jesus' name. Thank you for the testimony that you put in my put in my heart. Uh, you lifted me up out of the pit of despair. You put me on solid rock, and you've given me a new song to sing, a song of deliverance, a song of change, both physically and, and uh, every, everywhere, every way. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Bless my friend again right here, Lord. Special blessing I'm asking upon them. You reward those who diligently seek you, Lord. That's what we do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, take care.